Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand. The Grand Daddy plays Heartseekers Teeth of Dead. Exciting. A Storm's Bulwark. I really wanted to get a run with those as well, but we just had a shield run in the last episode. And um, Desperation is so overrated. Annihilation. I think I would rather go for the Throne Weapon in here, so let's do it. Heartseekers Teeth of Death. Let's have a good time with those. Start this final exploration of ours. And I think we can all agree that this is a stellar path in here. It is going to spike our corruption like crazy. But it is a great looking path. Two relics, two stat increases, two weapon upgrades. Who are we gonna be? Hopefully plenty strong by the time we make it out of this situation. And I for one can't wait to see how all of this is gonna come out. There's a free dexterity upgrade increase and as well. I, I, I'm losing my ability to speak already over the sheer potential this run is already throwing into me. Pretty happy to see all this and very very excited to see where all this is gonna lead to. Nice. And there you go. Okay, we actually do have throwing weapons, you know what? Not even gonna risk it with the rerolls. I can use it, I'm gonna buy it. We have a cursed weapon that has nothing else going for it aside from crit. So we could be fishing for crit damage increases or gleaming sapphires. But before I waste all of my rerolls doing that, I take that one small, relatively stable damage increase and, you know, just feel happy about that. Uh, those are not active, right? They are not. Good stuff. Be safe, be good, be cool. All is in line. Perfect in every way. We have now exactly 1000 coins in here. That doesn't happen all that often. It also doesn't happen all that often that you do need exactly a thousand coins, though. You almost got me. Almost. That's gonna be a nice damage increase as well, hopefully for the future. And the perfect stat spread. Damage and extra money that you can then use to get more damage. Lovely. There are not many things in this game that give me as much satisfaction as seeing a perception dexterity room. That always fills me with so much happiness. Check this out. Let's take it up. At least for a little while. It benefits us. Oh, there's one more. Don't attack him with your torch, you goof. There you go. Yeah, man, so far, this one is looking great. And I really, really do like this throwing weapon, you know? I like throwing weapons in general. They are very, very fun and novel extension to the game's set of weapons and this cursed throwing dagger it just does everything a basic throwing dagger does but better and for that I'm very, very thankful um, let's see if we can get something nice in here crit damage I mean I do get crits with my final attack so you know what let's just take it for regular room clear, I do rely a bit more on my charged attack. But at least against bosses, it should end up being useful. Uh, not only against bosses, we also get some use out of it for regular room clearing situations. One way or another, it is good. This is very, very good. Like, that guy is not gonna live. Neither is that guy. Neither is that guy. Neither is this lady. Boom. It is so... It feels so good and looks so clean. Which is why I love this. And I think... I give this game a very, very hard time constantly, especially on their Discord, for a lot of reasons. One thing I really do give the developers credit for is how good playing with the different weapons feels. Like, for example, you have the shield. The shield feels very ballistic in its playstyle, and I love that. I love it a lot. It just feels... you just zoom through the room, crushing into enemies repeatedly. It feels good, it feels strong, it feels very, very satisfying to do. And, um... 
Then you have this weapon, which just feels slick. You just feel like you are... I feel like I'm John Wick, basically. Just entering a room and killing my enemies with a lot of concentrated, focused, clean, precise effort. And I like that. I like that an awful lot. There was also this one movie of, um, what was it called again? Christian Bale. I think it was called Equilibrium. And that, that movie was very, very much over the top for a couple of reasons. But what was going on in that movie, among other things, is he had that cool gun cutter thing going on. Where he purposely tried to position himself within his enemies and just shoot them all down while they are not able to shoot him at all or shoot each other down in the process. It looked very, very cool. And it kind of feels like we are doing the same with this weapon right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to spike my corruption in here, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be worth it. We were almost able to afford the Heartseeker's damage increase in here with money, but that can't be helped. And now it's boss fight time. In a perfect world, the guy is going to drop us his cursed spear so we can cleanse two curses off. Sulfurous barrels. It's actually not going to be a problem for us, though. That is actually going to be absolutely fine. So, my boss man. I think we can all agree that the crits are hurting him. Got the cat out. Got the dodges, and he's dead. Lovely to behold. Absolutely lovely to behold. We got all the cats out, so we should... We get it! The dream is real. Okay, get those explosive barrels out of here. Get the... Hallucination curse out, I guess. Let's do it. We actually do take an awful lot of damage if we get hit, so having Auric Maldediction reduce that by at least some degree has got to be nice for us. But yeah, first floor was perfect. If you look at this, two set increases, two weapon increases, and a question mark room. This looks promising. This looks very, very promising to me as well. We just need to bring our top performance constantly, and everything should be fine. There you go. Thanks for cranking up this wall. Please be decent. Ah, uh, we do not have any fire damage, but the cleansing is much appreciated. So, get this girl out of here. He tried, he failed. I saw him wind up for that attack. He tried, he failed. I laughed, he cried. And thanks for the endurance and the, stem, uh, the dexterity. God knows I really... I feel like, even though we haven't gotten hit at all thus far... I got a feeling that we are going to need it eventually. I hope I'm wrong. But I got a feeling. Now, this weapon upgrade. We can just buy out with money. And I'm happy for it. I'm very happy for it. You better believe it. And there they all bite the dust. Lovely. And even if you ignore how strong our finishing strikes crit for... Hot charge attacks, they are no joke. There you go. And done. Feels so good. Feels so good, it's frightening. Give me that level up. Heartseeker's teeth of death. I think I said it before, but I feel like I need to say it again. The new cursed weapons they introduced in this update are absolutely splendid. In quite a few ways. Now, who or what is waiting for me in here? It's you guys. And then they left me immediately. Be safe. Be backstabby. Mm, do we have anything we'll be willing to give up for this one? I think I'm willing to let go of the darkness damage. Because we do get some healing recycles here and there. Getting some money for that may end up being beneficial for us. Just in terms of playing into our financial gains in here. There is... Look at that. That is 241 monies. That I do accept 
with a smiling face. No one here. These guys are not gonna last long. Boom. We are already creating for 400 damage with that finishing strike. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it wonderful? I'm gonna buy both of these stats as well. We haven't seen a lot of dexterity gains from these for a while. I do not mind it. Let's go for the challenge room. That should end up giving us a lot of money. That should give us a lot of money that we will then need to use in just a mere moment. And you know, I think that this weapon is actually gonna destroy the second boss like crazy. Oh my god. Oh, you! Some of my shots were not fine again, but it was okay. Because we still found him eventually. And yeah, look at the money. We're looking good. We're looking great in here. Um, we do not need the healing. So we go for the question mark, which could be something beneficial for us. I actually could have gone into the healing room, just played a few times. For the free money, but I'm actually not that interested in money. I am more interested in things that make this run a bit stronger, a bit more stable, and a bit more exciting. So this dexterity and perception, if I saw it correctly, no, it's, uh, it's endurance and perception. Still gonna go and buy all of these out, you know? As long as I can, why wouldn't I? Now, there's the weapon upgrade room. We can afford it, one way or another. And then we're gonna go for the bosses. Then we're gonna go for the bosses. And it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Ooh, that was close. Gotcha, baby. We also have over 100 greed combos going on right now, so... We are at maximum damage capacity from that front. But there is still a few nooks and crannies that we can exploit to become a bit strong on here. Which I am striving for. But for the moment, let's have our greatest fight against this guy over here. Decent. Decent. Get me out of here. Attack him. Keep attacking him. And... He died without getting a single attack off. We just kept throwing and throwing and throwing and throwing until he bitted us. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> Towards the end there. Oh, yes, please. Give me that free dexterity. Let's go. The Moneymaker Pistol. The Moneymaker Pistol. I am actually... I'm actually gonna take it. <laughs> I'm actually gonna take it. I think we should be having some fun with that. There was actually la There was one bomb landing exactly where we were standing towards the end there. And I thought for a moment that that would actually get to us. Um, there is a relic shop and a weapon upgrade. Here's a relic shop, a weapon upgrade. And a question mark. I think we're gonna go with this direction over here. We have a lot of recycles, or rerolls rather, left. Let's see to it that we get something good out of them. Hey there. 500 crits, the dream. So good. So strong. And here's me hoping that this relic shop will empower all that even more. Be safe, be safe, be safe, be good, all is fine. Lightning damage we do not need. Hierophant's pendant is pretty, pretty interesting though. But I, I think we can do a bit better. I think we can do a bit better and we did much better. We did so much better. Hell yeah, give it to me. The big daddy gleaming sapphire. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. Lovely to behold. Absolutely lovely to behold. Our damage is gonna be so disgusting now. There they are. And... Whoop. Nope. Don't want to be close to you when you are like that. There. And there's a healer too. Didn't even see him. Ooh, we're good. We're good, guys. Critting for over 600 damage now. 
Still a little bit more potential coming our way. We still got a couple of three points of dexterity here and there. Dark Mysteries. I think it's not gonna be too much of a problem here. So oh. oh, no! He shot into the lamb. No! I dodged. Actually fine there. But he shot into the lamp, then the explosion got to me. Got the parry there, though. Oh, that is just the worst. Come on, kill him. That way. For the extra money. Just in case we end up needing it. Oh, man. And the one was flawless and immaculate up until this point. Can you believe it? I'm still gonna buy this. Oh, that is a tragedy. A tragedy, man. God damn it. Oh well, can't be helped. Let bygones be bygones. No point crying over spilt milk. We just keep on doing our best. Try to live as long and as prosperous as possible. Grab the free money over there, bring me over 5,000. And then, and then, and then. You're gonna go back to just killing. Remorseless. Ooh. Good stuff. Gotcha, baby. Boom. The extra money is good. Get me out of this room. I don't trust those statues. I do not. Now, who or what wants to have a piece of me in this room? There's another one of those. Nasty. He's dead. Ooh, that almost got to me too. No way! Okay, you know what? I need to be a bit more cautious about those statues. I feel like there's were a few too many close calls in here. Give me that cleansing. And give me this chest with all of its contents. Even more cleansing. Let's go. And yeah, we leave this place then. There's nothing else to be seen in here. Do we rather go for the money or the attributes? Ah, uh, there's, there's no question asked to be here. We, we do want to go for the challenge room because we do want to go for the weapon upgrade after that. Oh man, the room was immaculate up until that point. Can you believe it? No way! Decent. Good stuff. Be safe. Keep attacking. It's only this one guy left, right? Got him. Give me the money. Give me the money. Putting us well over 10k again. Giving us extra damage in the process. And now we're gonna go for the upgrade room. Probably just gonna buy what is in here with our corruption because... The upgrade will be extra expensive. That much I can tell you without even having seen it. Get me out of here. Be careful about the cat. We almost lost our greed combo there. Almost. But we didn't. And I'm very happy for it. Good, perfect dodge. And get him out. We did. And him as well. Lovely. Yeah, there we go. Off our blood. We get another curse in here, so be it. Can't be helped. We need the power. We need the power so we can throw our knives into our enemies ever so slightly harder. I don't think there's gonna be any weapon in here that I truly, truly want. But we do have some rewards left in here, so we may as well check it out. I you know, thinking about it, maybe a shield couldn't be too, too bad. Just for the extra parry window. No way! He was about to do it again! You son of a gun. Get him out before he does it one more time. Gotcha, baby. Back in territory where our crits hurt like a truck. He almost got me there, but only almost. And you know what? That's a perfect shield. That is a perfect shield. Giving me a bigger parry window. And also rewarding me with war crits. Which, of course, we do have that extra crit damage going on in here. So that's gonna be good. It's gonna be lovely. 
We are going to show the boss a great old time in here. Or we are absolutely getting mopped up by him. We will see. Good stuff. Lovely. Keep attacking him, keep attacking him. He's safe here, what is he doing? We are good, we are good. Keep sticking it to him. He's down, he's down. <laughs> he made the mistake of showing me his back. He shouldn't have showed me his back. Lovely. We didn't even get a single parry off in this fight, so we didn't even need the shield. But it was a safety measure. Oh, hang on. Did we get a parry off? I think we did. One early on, maybe. We dodged more than we parried. And look at that, man. We only got hit once. Or was it twice? Once or twice? Only once by this guy, right? Yeah, we flawless 19, 19 rooms. That is a shame. That is a shame, but it can't be helped. Almost a flawless run. Oh, 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 okay, guys. I already saw what the next one is going to be all around, so I'm already looking forward to it. It is going to be a slaughter fest. Guys, thanks for this. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. But thanks for watching. Stay as awesome as you are. I can't speak currently anymore because I already see what is waiting for me in this one. Guys, I'm looking forward to that episode. It's probably going to be a very strong or very short run.